Hey guys, my name is Robert. I'm with my oldest son, Jesse. We're here outside because my 99 Honda Civic SI EM1 has a dead battery. Um, I think it was just sitting too long. It wasn't a very old battery, but it just died. So I went ahead and grabbed a new one. So I'm just going over how to remove a battery and how to put the battery back in. Um, so Jesse was gonna show you how to do it and we'll be right back. All right, so thanks for coming back. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. We'd really appreciate it. And if you know anybody, and if you know anybody that would benefit from this video, make sure you share it and don't forget to like it as well. So, what we did is this is not OEM, but usually there's J hooks that you want to remove. So we remove those J hooks, and you just have to twist it a certain way and get it out of there. I'll show you a little bit. Uh, once this is removed. Also, you always want to take out the negative terminal first before you start touching things. So we always take this off first and we take off the positive. You're going to need a socket set and that's about it actually. Uh, I had, I did have my cool Typex pliers here or Nick picks, I don't know how it's pronounced, but because they're great for holding nuts. See how it's the edge and you'll see how and why it was beneficial. So I have Jesse disconnecting the negative battery first. So you just get that out the way because you can remove the battery. So now Jesse's removing the positive terminal. Make sure your hand doesn't get close to anything metal, especially that strut tower bar you see in front. Be careful removing and installing the battery. It's a pretty heavy battery. It's about at least 50 pounds. So the battery tray is right here. Um, depending on your battery holder, this is aftermarket. It's got a little uh, twist off nuts, twist nuts, but um, they always use J hooks. So make sure when you get the J hook, uh, let's see if we go in here. You can watch this too, Dusty. You need to get the hook in there. Yeah. And you turn, turn it, it. And make sure it so goes that way outwards. it's locked. Outward. Yeah. And then make and sure you do the same so thing with the other side. Otherwise, it, it, come, it, it, could, it could come loose. Yeah, it'll fall So out. you want to twist it after you get it in there. Yeah. To, um, for safety. Yeah. We're gonna do that for both sides. Yeah, we're gonna do that same thing for the other See side. That. But be careful that wire, because that wire might break. Yeah, you, got, you can't get that in the way, but drop in there, turns the J-hook, and it hooks. So, let's get this. The front one's gonna be easier because you can actually see where it's hooking and you can twist. The rear one's a little bit tougher because it's gonna be feeling it, but you'll be able to get it, just take your time. You can see I'm using the Kypex wrench here, so it helps hold the nut and bolt. I like to check that the positive and negative terminals are nice and secure so they don't pop up while I'm driving. The ground cable actually busted, so I went ahead and grabbed a bigger one, higher, a much thicker gauge unit, so that way I know it will last another 20 years because that's how old the other one was. All right, here's Jesse. He's going to help test start my car. Okay, make sure it's in neutral. Okay, I'm gonna... Neutral. Yeah. Press the clutch, insert the key, and three, two, one, go. Here we yes. go. Yes. It starts. See? All right, Jesse. Um, looks like everything's back in place. And yeah. what do you say? Okay, thanks for watching and subscribe to our channel. Make sure to like our videos. Make sure to tap this, the bell icon and make sure to put all notifications for future videos and peace out. Peace out.